Hi Ruchi, thank you for joining. How are you today? I will prepare some paints. Today we're gonna paint red rose. I wanna show how to paint the rose. It's gonna be my second time actually ever. First time I painted the rose it was like three years ago. And it was acrylic. Hi Em, thank you for joining also. So we have black, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, because I have to mix green. Together with cobalt blue. And also titanium white for sure. paints because it's always falling down from the palette just a moment I forgot to take towel. I always forgot something to take before I start painting. Hi Goldie, thank you for joining. How are you today? Okay, I will start with red. Cadmium red. I wanna make basic lines for our rows. And also I have to Put it in the center So let's just try start from the center And of course also oil thinner I'm using as always Ok great to hear it Actually I hope that I can paint the rose because it was long time since I painted it, like three years ago. It might be challenging also, but as I remember I started with those basic lines with these leaves what is around and it was kind of okay. Sometimes it's cool to make something challenging for yourself. So even if it's not gonna be fine, it's also fine because it's all the practice. And also people can see that not all possible to paint 
some objects are hard and some are not so hard so for practice it's good hey Rasik, thank you for joining as well Then we have to mix also this red with black to make shadows, but it's gonna be after. First of all, let's continue just mark our leaves. And this is gonna be the main. I think it can be even a little bit bigger. This is center. Let's just drop some leaves on this area. Going down here. And another one just beside. Plus this area is going to be all shadowed. Also some additional on the top as I can see. Hi Vanessa, good morning. Take your coffee. Okay, and another one gonna be below. on this area and also another one I think someone from here okay, something like this probably I could put it a little bit upper but maybe I can add some other leaves just improvisation a little bit so it's gonna be a little bit to the up we can also improvise our paintings okay and I will use blue, but anyway it's going to be mixed after all with our yellow and anyway it's going to be green so I think I can put blue for now it's, it's fine I have a better mix now so I just use this cobalt blue with yellow. 
I will make some, maybe two, three tones different, so I can use it all together at once. Do not mix it after all. Plus this, how it calls, trunk, trunk of the flower. <laughs> it's kind of much brighter than leaves on the back. We can make it a little bit lighter even. Set put here. We'll add a little bit of white for highlights. I'm gonna use after. So it's a combination of three colors: cadmium yellow, cobalt blue, and white. Let it put beside. Again, cobalt blue, a little bit of yellow, much less than before, because our leaves are very dark over there. I think I can add even more blue. This mixing that takes a lot of time really. Okay, let's put it here. And add a little bit of yellow. And also a little bit of white. Do not make it similar to this, but close to this for our leaves highlights. What gonna be on the back? All right. I think it's gonna be enough. Well, anyway, if it's not gonna be enough, we can add more. It's not a big problem. So let's start with our trunk. How I call it a flower trunk. Also, with some, I think it's kind of also leaf. Of course. So let's make this main shape. And also drop some highlights after all.
Yeah, plus I have to make this blank background, but I guess I will do it after. At least after I will put main toads in shadows. There is still a lot of work with these rows over there. And also have to be careful with this black. So much can be spoiled. So have to be careful anyway. So let's make leaves, what we have, I think there is one, two, three, and I will use this dark green, what I mixed. Okay. Uh, it will be even a little bit bigger, I guess, just, just around it here. And from this area, even it's longer than this leaf, so let's also make it like pro prolong it. It's gonna be okay. And the main leaf, it's kind of big one in the middle. So let's also show it from this area and moving up. Will you paint some flowers, Vanessa? Or are you only landscapes now? Mm, this leaf is kind of a little bit weird. I think it's... Mm, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it's too fat looking fat so this one I will cover just with black background after okay, let's make it until this area right. and I will use oil thinner a little bit And dark green again so let's just cover our leaves Actually, this is a new brush I bought yesterday, and it's already third brush, same third brush I'm buying, because it becomes small so fast. It's actually the same brushes, but you can see hairs, difference of the hairs. So this one new is much longer than this one old, because it becomes so small very fast. 
and it's also a little bit expensive it's like four dollar for one brush um, it's getting it's getting worse so fast hi my crazy art thank you for joining us as well we are painting a rose today as you can see from the thumbnail photo I just decided to paint like original rose original rose is kind of red rose always so yeah I just oh, also I was thinking about purple rose but it's hard to mix this bright purple color with basic colors because it's gonna be a little bit faded anyway but the violet or purple what I have it's kind of a little bit transparent and it's not fits this idea what I wanted to make so this is why I decided to do it just red rose also I was thinking about basket rose in the basket but let it be just simple rose like this It's gonna be okay, but I'm not sure. You have to be careful over there to not spoil. Plus, here are gonna be little leaves also from the top of the rose. Also, I don't know how to call this trunk of the flower. If someone of you know how to name it in English, let me know, please, because I'm not sure how it calls this. It's like a branch or flower trunk, I call it. I don't know the exact word for this. So, if someone know, let me know, please. Hi student, I'm Sunk. Thank you for joining us today as well. How are you doing today? It's a painting. It's not drawing. Drawing is a little bit different. It's oil painting. A red rose. I'm kind of also experimenting. Because as I said already, it was a long time since I painted a rose. Like three years almost. I think three years so it's kind of a little bit challenging job Right, so let's just cover this side with our green color. And also there is like lighter cover over there, just a moment. make it a little bit curved a 
light green to fix some details over there a little bit more and also drop some additional leaves on this area Let's fix our palette. And have to mix some red. So I'm simply mix it with black. To get this shadow tone, which is really dark actually. Have to be careful with this black because it's need only a little amount actually achieve the color that I need thank you Rochi okay let's add a little bit more red yeah there is different kind of roses actually like garden rose or just simple rose like this garden rose are a little bit different so it's more red anyway it's dark still dark mm. can even add a little bit of black and mix it all together Okay, this one we're gonna use for our shadow. And a little bit lighter color. Also kind of for shadow, but for lighter shadows. Hi Romney, thank you for joining. How are you today? A little bit of black. Anyway, I will blend it after all, but still. And I will need more red color I'll try this is spiral red instead of cadmium cadmium red is a little bit darker I think but anyway it's kind of similar so I will just using this one a little bit of black also just to make similar tones but lighter you can use some white just adding by a little amount little bit more white
So let's drop our shadows. I will use this dark tone for sure. And I will start with this area. For sure, at first it's gonna be like simple color spots, like it usually looking like. But I have to show those dark areas here in the center also. Hi Rosalie, thank you for joining. How are you today? As you can see, we are painting a rose. Just my attempts. Second rose in my life. need more color and also drop on some this area as well just beside our middle this middle is here so this gonna be leaf and some dark spots on this area also Actually here we can put a little bit more. Here gonna be already another leaf, but just beside this area we can put also some shadow. Um, under this leaf also gonna be shadow but going on another leaf what is under it okay some more on this area and also here is the lines Hi Lynn, thank you for joining as well. Okay, let's put a little bit here, but I think it's much lighter. I will use this one. Uh, definitely not so dark. So let's just cover it and also use a little bit lighter color. I just want to try to do one leaf just to see how it's going to look like. Because it's a little bit complicated to understand what is what now. It's actually normal with roses like this. Also it depends how you paint the rose, because middle I think is the, the most difficult to paint. 
you can paint draws only like this and that's it there's the only side look and it's much easier this shape is a little bit hard and also I need to use some white on the edges I think it's more red than dark red. Okay. A little bit more white into this color. And I wanna prolong this leg a little bit until this area and I will do this now what is under plus it looks like it's a little bit curved And if you want to show curved, we simply have to move our brush. Same as with mountains when you paint mountain. For example, when you paint mountain, you have to make like with palette knife same way. And that's how you get shape of the mountain. So same with these leaves if you want to show it a little bit curved you simply paint it like not straight but you curve the little details okay, here we can add some darker color already in this area and over there until the back side of our rows because you can see that light also coming from a little bit from the left side So let it be a little bit on the left. So we'll add more red in this color. What is looking dark? So Let's make it a little bit more reddish. Oops, going until here, I think. Okay, let's try to do this one now. And also we can blend it a little bit. So we just blend those colors. And also drop some light. Okay, need more red. Ok, 
Okay. And I will just put it down here and mix with some of those colors. On your palette too, I can make out the red rose just above your yellow and green. Okay, let's blend it a little bit. It's looking like a mess right now. That is okay. And blend it even more. And let's use this lighter color. Also, I will add some white. I'm going to put it down here on this area. Kind of to show our middle. Also, this leaves what is over here. Details are so small. Let's blend it a little bit. Anyway, it's kind of first layer, so I will add those brighter red on these areas. Like, for example, this one. So it's going to be a little bit curved as well. More red. I'm going to do now this leaf over there. Also, I want to highlight it a little bit. I will use red and white. And I will highlight a little bit on the top. It's like more for myself to understand what to do next, because actually I'm using or losing my vision on this rose. It's all looks a little bit messy right now so I want to kind of divide those areas also I don't want to make it too much details I want to continue to make it kind of my style as all paintings before so I also have to consider this idea Try to blend it a little bit with soft brush. What I have, it's synthetic soft brush, to make it more smooth. It's soft and dry, and it can help, probably. And just small brush with white for more highlights on the edge 
just to divide our leaves in the middle I hope you guys you can see what I'm doing Let's drop some shadows on this area on the left, on the rubber leaf. I think it's gonna be okay. Also on the lower part. And right there as well. And I will use same soft brush to blend it. Because I can't blend it with Bristol brush. It's almost impossible, I need definitely more red color to make it much brighter, on the top especially. So let's now do this leaf area and also it's starting with the shadows. So I will just drop the shadows just above. Also it's a little bit hard to describe what I'm doing. Because it's not a landscapes when I'm so confident. This painting is more like experiment. So maybe it's not so cool to go live. Because definitely I can do some mistakes, but let it be like a challenge for myself. Hi Austin, thank you for joining. How are you today? Haven't seen you for a while already. I think you're kinda busy lately. If you're asking me, I'm fine, thank you. Hi Nizla, thank you for joining as well. I hope you are doing well too.
Thank you, I am for reminder. Yeah. Struggles continue, and I think I need add also more red color on this leaf because it's a little bit pale. But actually, on the photo is also pale. But I want to add some more colorful, make it more colorful. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, there is a lot, still a lot of job do also as i know you're american how do you call this thing i don't know how to call it on english it's kind of trunk but it's not a tree trunk it's a flower trunk but i think there is a name for this flower trunk so let me know please how do you call it All right, it's a steam, I think. Yeah, steam, if I pronounce it correctly. Right, it was a steam, I forgot. Okay, thank you, Naisla. Sometimes I'm missing words, really. I think it happens to anyone. Okay, let's blend a little bit this area. So I'm just calling it like a, a flower trunk <laughs> instead of steam. Let's add more red on this leaf in this area. So what we have here is another leaf, I just put it a little bit purple. Okay, let's make some highlights again. I, yeah, but I think still I have to... Anyway, I have to put more highlights. Especially on edge of the leaves, at least in this area. And anyway, around also actually, because it looks like a little bit messy now. And I want to divide it to show a little bit, uh, kind of, how to say, the separation of them. So, yeah, anyway.
but it looks like a rose but not exactly what I want here is a lot of small details so let's just add more red on this area and some shadows as well Actually, I don't want to make it too much detailed. I want to also maintain kind of my style. So it's going to be a little bit kind of blurry, I could say. But anyway, I have to make some similar shapes on it. Because for now, definitely here is not enough deepness inside. And it's also small work gonna be. Plus this area is much darker as well also. Yeah, next painting gonna be animal again. Actually, I have noticed that animal getting more much, like much more attention. Especially compared to flowers. Landscapes also is kind of fine, but. It's getting much more attention. I guess people like animals more. At least this is what I can see from my videos, analytics and all that stuff. We get much more watch hours and also views. If you can see animals on my channel, there is a lot of, like not a lot of views because it's not much in YouTube, but still it's bigger than any other of my videos. No, I think just people like it more to watch because actually a lot of artist here who paint landscapes but animals are not so much so maybe this is why people like to watch it more so let's just add some highlights in our rows and anyway, I think I will fix it after with some small brushes to make a little bit more deepness and to divide our leaves more. Hello, sketchy. Thank you for joining us as well. Okay, let's just blend a little bit. And question is why I'm blending because I want to make a little bit kind of smoother as with this Bristol brush I can't make it look smooth and as you can see it's like 
two different tones and it's very separated from each other but what I wanna have I wanna make it like smooth like it's going from dark from to lighter but not so separated from each other this is why I wanna use this synthetic soft brush Okay, now you can see some dips over there as well. And let's blend our middle also. So I want to make it more red, I just add more red color over there. Because anyway we have already um, dark underpainting, that's gonna be our shadows. But on this area inside I want to make it more red, not so pinky. and same in the middle area anyway middle is like almost like black but on the top it's more red aside this pink what i have and this way i want to add bright red inside Okay guys, girls, those who are watching me right now, what is your plan for your channels? What you like what is your goal? What you wanna achieve with this? Or this is just for fun or someone of you take it serious? I'm just interested to know. Anyway you thinking of something, right? Why are you doing this? For what? Yeah, you're not alone actually. But I thought you will do this uh, Christmas tree actually and lake. I don't know, I thought it fits your style more. But okay, sounds like it's cool also. So yeah, Vanessa, it's gonna be like a little bit challenging, but it's actually good also you can, how to say, to check your skills, to follow reference photos, it's also interesting actually. By the way, I'm done painting my winter landscape. Yeah, that's cool. Actually, I'm done my sunset also, but I will not show it now. I also choose sunset. Because I made winter landscape recently and lake landscape recently. Actually, I made all. Uh, never mind. Hi, Mama of Art Gallery. Thank you for joining us today. We are painting a rose, as you can see. And here is still a lot of work to do. Moment. I just close my door. You still have time, Vanessa. 
to prepare and I guess it's not gonna take much time to paint let's add some shadows again and blend it again after this area under this leaf and I want to highlight this leaf more but drop some, some shadow under it not coming on this leaf already okay it's actually cool that some of you choose winter because I thought Nobody gonna choose it and nobody will choose sunset. But as you can see winter is also cool. That's nice. Okay, let's drop some highlights again and actually I will drop some red at first and I will mix it with some white. Or maybe I will just leave it like this right now also highlight some this area okay so let's paint this one We'll add more red. I will use this salt brush because now it's okay uh, because we have underpainting already. Use some lighter color. Hi Croptop, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for your compliments. Yeah, still a lot of work to do. But anyway, little by little I will finish this. This one do some curve on this area. To show that it's a little bit curved and also highlight it a little bit Let's make another leaf on this area, the small one. Going until here even. So let's highlight it a little bit. Oh, 
also this area I want to more make highlight uh, blend I mean highlight can this on the top and this area also blending Here, let's add red on our leaf over this area. I'll highlight it a little bit and we can use this color again so I will drop some shadow but a little bit later But first I wanna do this other details. And I can drop shadow on this area to separate our leaves, this one and this. Hi Elizabeth, thank you for joining us as well today. How are you doing? I'll just add more details. Um, okay, let's make this one more. more 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 reddish I will use simple red what is original from the tube yeah for the end result need a little bit more time because still not close. I will fix details anyway after. For now it, at least I somehow separated leaves. And, but anyway I wanna add a little bit more deepness on some details like especially in the middle probably I will mix some other color for this. But I will not sure yet. We will see. Hi Brar, thank you for joining us as well. Okay, let's blend a little bit. And now we can see that this leaves gonna be separated from each other. This area is a little bit pinkish, more pinkish than red and here it's turning red more. Plus also this leaf we have to highlight Uh, 
suspicion on the edges just to show separation again thank you bro appreciate your compliment just add a little bit more So this one, what's going on the top? And from this side. Okay. And also additional leaf what I put on the top just to make our rows looks a little bit bigger. So we'll add some shadows just in this area. More red. Also more red on this leaf. Special edge. Some separation on this area. I'm simply adding white kind of like this and then can blend same as here And with this we also can make some dark spot below and highlights on the top after or simply use red on the top red on the top and some white for highlight Let's blend it again. And let's cover our background. I wanna 
gonna see how it's gonna look with black. Actually I have black at some grey, this grey is leftovers from my yesterday painting. So to not throw away my paint, paint I decided to mix it all together and it looks like black but in fact it's kind of grey color and I simply can use it Also, you're using a PC, but I think quality of the video is blurred a little bit because actually this is all what I can do at the moment. Actually, also I noticed that some people streaming from the phones, but I don't know how to stream. I mean, without without studio like OBS or StreamYard or any other studio they just simply streaming from the phone and I notice that I don't have this option I don't know why I still don't have this option. Maybe I have re-upload my YouTube studio in phone. I couldn't even find it. Don't know why. Maybe only if you're monetized they allow you to stream from phone. Because maybe quality of the video from the phone gonna be better, but I don't think I can stream like 3 hours. Battery gonna go down pretty fast. Ok, I will look after if I can find it. Because if I am not monetized, maybe this is why they don't allow. But as I know, they're only asking about 1000 subscribers. Yeah, I can maybe simply uh, send screenshots or just to see. Well, maybe I can upload it in my phone. Anyway, it's not a problem. The thing is that I didn't see this button in my phone.
Also, there was one option like in YouTube, I mean, not phone, that you can plan your stream. But I just wonder if I plan my stream, for example, like Sunday, it will show so that I am planning. But I have to stream it right away from the YouTube, or also I can use OBS. Because as I see, this planned stream all only appears on YouTube like directory from YouTube without OBS. So also that question. Hi all blessing art, thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? Okay, Vanessa, let your dog do your her business. <laughs> so, for example, if you want to stream directly from YouTube, you can plan your stream. And then you just switch it off. And, okay, let's go. And anybody will be notified. But if I, for example, want to do it through OBS, I simply can plan it because it's kind of be different stream. Because the option where it shows like, please use your software, it goes directly streaming. For example, like now, it didn't appear anyway. It only appears when I start streaming. But I believe that some people just miss the stream because of this. I just received your message. I will check it out later after stream. So let's just cover our background. have to figure it out how they're using it. Maybe they just simply use phone. If you're using phones, then yeah, it's okay. You can plan it. Or maybe, for example, as you can see, I put like reference photo in my video. I put red rose, my Instagram. But if you don't want to put it, you can stream directly. Yes, and it's going to be planned. But still, it's all a little bit complicated with this. Don't like it. put more black uh, on this area and then I will fix edges with another brush and also after it I will just blend outside with my blender brush as you remember what I had so, let's see how it's gonna look like 
turn it off. Well thinner in it. Okay, I'll just use another brush. Just a moment. I just repost a video on my Facebook. Maybe some more people will join. Okay, we'll use this synthetic salt brush to cover edges over here. To dry completely, it takes me around, I think one day it's enough, like 24 hours, because I'm using board, as I told before. It's a little bit different from the canvas. If I'm using canvas, it's around three, four days, but if I'm using board it's only one day and also it's not so, how to say, it's almost now it's kind of dry because this board absorbs oils very fast and this is why I like it because it allows me to blend in one day if I want to just finish painting in one day and it also dries pretty fast and this is some actual advantages from the canvas because if I paint this canvas or oh, this rose on canvas it's around 3-4 days to dry especially with my style uh, sometimes I like to put uh, thick layers and all that stuff so yeah it depends on the surface. There is differences also when you paint. For example, now this I just covered, but this is oil sand. It's just a little bit dirty. Because oil, all oils already in this board. But if I add some oils here, then I can blend it easily. I don't know what kind of, because also I'm using like oil thinner, it's like, I don't know how to, it's not just simple oil, it also helps to dry much faster. Two months is kind of very long, maybe it's not complete dry, maybe it's some, a little bit fresh inside, but still it's, it's kind of fast. For example, if I, can, if I have customer and he asks me to paint and he needs a surgeon, after two days I can give him a painting which he can hang already and use it. Pretty fast, actually. I don't know what kind of oils you are using. It's also... Oh, this is why. Yeah, paper. This is why it's taking so long. The 
because paper paper is like not thick at all. It's very thin. And oils don't have like a surface where to go in. So this is why. Same as with canvas, but with canvas it's a little bit faster anyway. But if you're using simple paper, then yeah. It might take long. Plus if you use only oils for blending, it also might take long. I think I need a little bit more time to fix this outline. Then cover this all. Hi Drasafani, thank you for joining. Thank you for your compliment. And I understand why you're using the paper because it's much cheaper. But you can also, as I said before in my one of my live stream, you can use board also. Just simple plywood you can use actually. The problem is that you have to cut it. But if you have someone who can cut it, then it's not gonna be a problem. Yeah, it also can be used as thinner. It's a little bit smelly, but if you can find in the shops, there's like oils and thinner in one jar. It's already complete for the artist. Oils can help you blend and this thinner can help you dry faster. It's especially it's good for the landscapes because the first layer dries pretty fast and it can help you to put another layer yeah you can do a video how to cut a plywood on small pieces for your art and just record it <laughs> okay, I'm just joking but it might be fun Actually, I didn't know waterless thinner, but it's also cool because sometimes the smell yeah, is disgusting. But I'm kind of used to it already, but still. Okay, let's use smaller brush. Let's cover this white spot. I put too much thinner, I guess.
let's use much smaller and cover these areas here So why you decided to use oils? I felt you like only acrylics. Thank you, Vanessa. Let's just try. I oh, have to fix a little bit more here. Okay, now I can blend the background and I will use this blender brush as before. Yeah, maybe for portrait is okay. So let's just cover our rest spaces what is white and as you can see how it's turning out Beside again with probably a smaller brush. This one can be spoiled easily. Anyway, I will work on some details on our rows after this. the oil thinner also now we use synthetic brush just smaller it helps me to blend so I'm gonna still cover this uh, white areas and I'll let it dry a little bit 
also have to put more details on our leaf on the stem as well and on our rows but have to be careful because it might become dirty if I touch black Just cover this area. Thank you, Nisla. Anyway, well, it highlights. Just a moment to reply. So on the left side you left some white spots. around the leaves okay So let's use this green and make our leaves smoother. Now I can use a synthetic brush, even with these thick oils, because we have done already first layer, and second layer can be much smaller. So it's also working well. So let's add details on this area, on this leaf, let's connect it to our steam. Well, I 
can drop also highlights. I'm just using white and same green. And just drop some highlights on the edge. Same with this side. Okay, now it looks much smoother as I want to. Even this black, what I just blend, it's kind of dry already. And nothing happens if I put my brush over there. It's pretty cool. Let's just fix our steam by using this light green I can add also a little bit more highlights with white a little bit later Let's cover with it leaf what we have over there. I will use also a little bit of oil thinner and it helps me to blend as you know. Just need a little bit more paints. And again this light, light green. To fix these details. And also can drop highlight a little bit later. So let's show them much more. So here. And also I can see one leaf is coming from this rose on this area, kind of like this. And now I can use this dark green together with white for highlights, a little bit more on this leaf over there. even too much but okay I just blend it that's too much I put let's take it out a little bit okay I have to show line over there. Maybe it's too thick. Just a moment. Need a darker color. Let's 
use some white again. And also with this leaf. Okay, let's blend. Can also slide around the edges. can use some white and this light green for highlights on the top of this leaf. You can actually use just white and I will blend it on this leaf over here already. Same as here. And let's highlight our steam a little bit. a little bit more and also highlight here down below right. Let's highlight our leaves on the rows. Thank you, my readers, for compliment and for joining us today. So, where to start? I think I will highlight this area a little bit uh, too much. I need darker drop on this area
I'll definitely need some dark spot over here. Just change my brush. Just use this dark, dark red that I mixed and drop it here. Also in this area, what is under leaves. Some more details inside areas as well. To make it more shadow. Something like this. And let's blend it. And let's use more red over here. I'll just add more red. Simple red from the trip without mixing. Just simply add it on the top. Since we have some underpainting over there. I'm gonna make it a little bit reddish because it looks kind of pale. Also, in this area, let's drop some red. I 
a little bit better now. But still I wanna highlight this moment, I wanna show shadow on this area to separate a little bit our leaves on this side and also show shadows. And we have to blend it over here. To make it look smoother, not so separated as I told before. It's going up to here. Same on this side. Some highlights. Well, I think I will leave it like this. Don't see much what to change here. I'm not gonna put so much highlights on the top, also like simple white lines might spoil work and I don't want to do this just fix some additional details here okay. Okay, maybe fix a little bit on this area. Because not understandable what is here, especially with these shadows. But actually there is also separated, maybe it's much darker. But should I put it so much? In don't think I have to. I'm afraid it's gonna be too dark if I put it. Okay, let's try experiment. 
what if just did some areas Just some arrangements and we are done. Okay, I think I will leave it like this right now. Maybe I will change something later when it's be completely dry. Let's just take this squash tape. I will put my sign first. Thank you, Vanessa. Somewhere to on this side. Yeah, definitely here could be more deepness but and maybe some different shape but it's all about the practice so as I said this is only my second rose what I painted so I think it's okay for second time and first time with oils so yeah, maybe just more practice and maybe some other details like rose in basket or something like this. Okay, for the next stream gonna be animal. I'm not sure what kind of animal, but I think donkey or some funny animal I wanted to paint. 
for a long time already. And stream gonna be on Sunday, I believe. So okay, for today I'm done. Thank you guys who watching me, who like my artworks and share and like. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here today with me. And yeah, don't forget that we have a collaboration. And good luck on your paintings. And I will see you soon again. Thank you once again and bye bye.